Hello guys, um, back again, Lizard Jesus here. Today's video is, should you migrate back to KVK1? How and why? What are the benefits? Should you do it? Should you not? Well, <clears throat> that's what we're going to dive into in this video. So for those of you that don't know, this is my sock sleeper account. I call it a sock sleeper, sock looper, either or. And it's an account that you create in Season of Conquest. You power it up a bit. You grab some commanders. And then you log off for a long time. You log back on and you're able to migrate back to KVK1 to experience the early game. Um, in this video, we're going to go over the benefits of doing this. Should you do it? Why? Like, you know, all that jizz jazz. <clears throat> why it's good. How does it benefit your account? Well... Before we get started, I'm just going to show some proof that this, that I, I is, I am in KVK3 at my power because some people might not believe that I was able to migrate back. I, as you can see here, this is Kingdom 1568 where I started and I was most, and this was a Sorelli crisis, but the point of this, what I'm just going through right now is like, I'm not like, I'm not migrating back to KVK2. I didn't migrate back to KVK2. There's n absolutely no way. There's absolutely no way that someone of my power would be accepted into a KVK2. I migrated back to KVK1. You're an SOC. You log off for a long time and you log back on and you're able to migrate back to KVK1. Now, the benefits of doing this is first things first. Well, you ex experience the early game. You experience the early game. You get to play KVK 1 and 2 again, which, you know, it's fun. Um, do I think players should do this? I think you should do this when you're at a point where you have a main account and you're powered up, you're good, you're fighting SOC, and you're kind of looking for a side project. You're looking for a side project, but you don't really want to do a restart. Well, that's when you can create a sock looper. You create the account in SOC, you power it up, and then you just log off. I think it's a good side project. It's a really good side project. Um, how to do this? Well, there's actually a lot of steps you have to do aside from just creating an account and then not logging in for a long time. And that's you have to make sure that you're getting, going back with some commanders that you're able to take get benefit from. I got CJ. Takeda, YSS, Gupta, and Moctezuma, all from the legendary chests. From these chests right here, I got those commanders from. Those were the commanders I brought back. And I chose to work on three commanders. Takeda, I'm going to work on the most. CJ, I took the 5111 just to have... You know, a, a all right infantry commander in KVK three, behind in, in front of my Sun Tzu. YSS, I took the five one one one, and I'm probably gonna leave him there for a long time, just cause whatever. It's a city defense. It's all right. I it's whatever. It's just th this is really this this five one 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 is really just for like Shadow Legion and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. Um. So you start your account in SLC. You start building it up. You start upgrading your city hall. Um, <clears throat> I would suggest taking your city hall to level 22. 21, fine. 21 is fine, but 22. So you get that 5th March queue before you decide to log off. And remember, you have to be very careful when doing this because when, you have to make sure that you are in the right position with your account for the time you log off. When you log off, you're not logging on for minimum 30 days. And then you log back on with the intention to go back to KVK1. So you really have to make sure that your account is set up in a good position. How do you do this? Well, you do it by making sure that you have um, your T4 research unlocked. T4 troops unlocked. You want to expertise some commanders. I expertise um, Sun Tzu and Ulji. And that's actually what I used for KVK1. This I used Sun Tzu and Uji for KVK1. I skipped. I didn't fight KVK2 because I just knew it. It, it just. I just knew it was better to just save. I saved all of my gems 
all of my XP, all of my heads, put it all into Joan. You're taking back some equipment that you're able to craft. So things that you can do to really execute this in the best manner is, you know, as I said before, make sure you have your T4 research unlocked. Minimum City Hall 21, but I suggest City Hall 22. I really suggest City Hall 22. You want to have uh, as many epic expertises as you have. <clears throat> but most importantly, you want to make sure... The most important thing is you want to make sure that you're getting that you have some commanders unlocked from the from the legendary ch chests. Whether you have to choose them from 200 from opening 200 chests or whether you get lucky like me, I got lucky and I pulled all these commanders from from the um, just random pulls. You want to pull some of these commanders back and you want to be very careful with which ones you do invest because some of the cuz bringing old commanders back and working on them a little bit because you're in kvk1 actually is not bad i did this with takeda takeda is the commander that i worked on so that by the time i got to kvk3 i went all in on jonah vark and i was able to run jonah vark and takeda just as a starter march um making sure your research is done is very crucial you know you want to you want to bring all of your you want all of your farms like at least level 10 all of these want to be at least minimum minimum level 10 just for just just for a standpoint like starting starting point um in fact i'm actually going to upgrade one right now um another benefit that you have and something that you should do is because you're starting off in soc is state forum you can as you're building your power up, you are running these, you're getting your books, you're getting your ar 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 armaments, whatever you call them, and you're pulling these things right here. So that way, you go back to KVK1, and by the time you hit KVK2, you have some uh, formations and ornaments all ready to go. These are the benefits of migrating back to KVK1, is bringing back T4 research, expertise epic commanders some end game commanders that you're able to get from the chests some end game commanders preferably you want to pick the newer ones like you know maybe uh henry i suggest henry is a good one Boudica is good nevsky is good to bring back um cpo is good to bring back um cpo henry nevsky Boudica, they weren't available um, when I did this, when I did this, the best commanders were like, you know, Takeda, YSS, these were the better ones, but now you have better options. Um, Honda is good, but Honda, I wouldn't start working on Honda until you have at least four marches. Once you have four plus marches, that's when it's a good time to start working on Honda. So yeah, these are the benefits of my, of creating a sock account and sleeping. I call it a sock sleeper because you build it up in sock and then you log off for a long time, which essentially puts your account into a sleeping state. It's a sleeping state. I call it sock sleepers. Um, so there's actually lots of benefits to doing this. And the most important benefit is you're migrating back to KVK1, which is fun. It's great. And you're bringing back ornaments. You're bringing back endgame commanders. You're hoarding you're hoarding everything you earn in kvk 1 and 2 and it puts you in a nice position for kvk 3 puts you in a really nice position for kvk 3 do i think players should do this i do think you should do this when should you do it and i think you should do it when you have your main account already done you've got things going this is like a side project thing this is a side project thing this is something that you build when you've got like your main account all set up now um i migrated back a little bit early is what i think i migrated back when i was at f like 4.5 5 million power i would suggest building i would suggest logging off i when you begin your sleeper state as in when you log off and don't log back on i would suggest uh doing that when you're in that 6.5 to 7.5 maybe even 8 million power 7.5 to 8 million power is a good time to log off you cannot go over 10 million power if you go over 10 million power 
you will not be able to migrate back to KVK1. You have to stay under 10 million power. So I would suggest 7.5 is a good power range of when you should probably choose to sleep. But most importantly than power is making sure you have the commanders. You want some endgame commanders. You want your epics expertise. You want to go back with nice equipment blueprints to craft. You want to go back with uh, arm, arm, armaments and all that stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of benefits from doing this. And I encourage players to do this. It's a great side project. It's super fun. I had a great time in KVK1 and KVK2 using Season of Conquest commanders in Ark of Osiris. You can use these commanders in Ark of Osiris. And yeah, I think it's a great feature. I think Lilith should not take this away. It's a super fun side project. It's awesome. It's it's really good. It's a really good... Um, it's a great way to experience the early game again. It really is. Because quite frankly... The early game is in a really weird spot right now. And, you know, what's nice about migrating back to KVK1 through Season of Conquest is that you're kind of like a secret migrant. Like, the kingdom doesn't know that you've migrated back. So you could migrate back and just sit through KVK1 and 2 as long as you don't get noticed. But I, you could, right? And, um, yeah, it's a... Uh, this is a really good way for players to, you know, go back to KVK1 and then kind of like put their accounts like, yeah, your account will develop and grow more in SLC. But like, this is a good way to put yourself in a position where you're where you're able to really boom once you hit SLC. Having one march, having one end game march is so good for the end game. Like to be able to have that in SLC, you'll boom. So, just a quick recap. The benefits of doing this are you're bringing back T4 research. You're bringing back ornaments. You're bringing back endgame commanders. You're bringing back expertise epics. You're bringing back uh, boatloads of resources and speedups because you hoarded the whole time you are in SOC. And you probably are going to hoard in KVK1 and maybe KVK2. Because I don't really think those are KVKs worth draining your account. Um... You build your power up, you know, maybe that's 7.5 million power range. You've got some endgame commanders. And then, yeah, you begin the sleeper process. The sleeper process is logging off for minimum 30 days, 60 if you want to be safe. And then you put your account in that sleep state. You log back on and then you migrate back to KVK1. Quick preparations <clears throat> before you migrate back to KVK1. You have a small window. You have like you have like one day um, to migrate back to KVK1 when you log back on. What you can do to do that is open the legendary chests one more time. Um, heal your hospital. You know, don't open, don't open your, don't do this. Don't collect your resources. You're gonna want to leave those. Do not collect your resources. Leave those. Um. And then you migrate back to KVK1, and I think it's great. I think I think players should do this if they want to experience the early game again without without the cr hectic craziness of starting in a new server and without without going through the pain of alliances forming, civil war is rampant, um, building up. It's so much easier to build up your commanders in SLC. So there's lots of benefits to doing this, and I think you should do this. It's a good side project, and uh, yeah, so should you build a sock sleeper and migrate back to KVK1? Yeah, I think you should at some point, you know, when you've got when you've got your main account is all set up and you're fighting, and then it's is a good side project. You want to experience the early game, but you don't want to go through the hectic, super early game. So yeah, enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Any questions? I've done this twice, by the way. I've done this twice. Um, the first account I did this on, oh, actually, I'm not going to show that account yet for reasons I'm not allowed to make, I'm not allowed to uh, make content in that kingdom yet. I'm waiting for things to kind of cool down and smooth, and there's some problems in that kingdom, but whatever. Um, I've done this twice, and I think it's really good. I think, I think it's a, an amazing feature, and the reason why I don't think Lilith should take this away is because it's not really like you're not migrating back super overpowered. You're really not like, let's be real for KVK one where you really want to be at. 
is like minimum 15 million power for KVK1. 25 million power, 15 to 25 is where you want to be for KVK1. So migrating back to KVK1 under 10 million power, like you're not going back super freaking like decked out. You're migrating back to put yourself in a good position for KVK3. That's the goal. The goal is to put yourself in a good position for KVK3, but you can experience the early game again. So yeah, you know, just make sure your T4 research is done pretty good. Um, you don't have to be a max. You, you're not going to be a maxed out T4 player. Just make sure you unlock your T4. You know, you've got some end game commanders, some ep expertise epics, and then you're good to go, man. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, I will gladly answer in the comments. Um, yeah. Uh, peace out.